Anyway, hello YouTube. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Um, yeah, that's probably the best way you can put it. We are gonna go ahead and get started with Clanet. I know that not a lot of it's an older anime. That's probably all I know from it. I know not a lot of people are reacting to it currently, which is pretty cool, I guess. Like, you know, I'm not a really big fan of like doing anything that's sort of in the now for some reason. Unless it's like Attack on Titan, in which case everything gets copyrighted. In case you guys do see, and then I'll go ahead and throw this out there. In case you guys are wondering, like, why is it that, like, the videos are so short? Or why is it that, like, things are cutting off weirdly? It's because for some reason, Twitch nowadays can actually mute your video that is copyright stricken. And when you download that video or that clip, it comes muted. You throw it on YouTube. Guess what? You get another copyright on another section, so then that vid section gets muted as well. Just letting y'all know in case any part of it seems really weird and congruent or just out of this world. But yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and address that for also throwing it out there for shows like Bakemonogatari and I guess just the, the Tari, uh, I guess, seasons in general. There's no easy way for me to put this, and I'm putting this in Clan Ed, and I'll put this again whenever we do a Bake episode. It is one of the most difficult episodes to edit or shows to edit because of the way that they talk. There's so much information being thrown out there that if you cut in one and you straight in another thing, you might have just messed up the whole flow of things, information that was vital to whatever was happening, so on and so forth. And the information is so spread out that it's hard to edit. So just take that excuse. None of these episodes are ever. Yeah. <laughs> blank blank yeah so none of these episodes are ever a substitute for the real thing please go ahead and watch them on your own this is more of a psychoanalysis as to what's happening if it's realistic attachment styles a thousand and one things but anyway with all of that being said sorry for the long ass introduction join us on our discord and let's just jump into it so hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Why do I feel like... This is a there's quite a number of factors in here that like we can go ahead and address the first one being like the normalcy of like everyday life so you know when i'm talking about like fog brain and other shows and like what it means specifically to for example get up uh go to the restroom uh brush your teeth all of that right do you guys take enjoyment out of that are you often thinking negatively um are you no like it, it's being weird because every time i click it it's taking me to another site even though it shouldn't this is supposed to be like a clean moment rather well said but i'll take that off while we while we go through it but so like what i'm hitting on right here is the specific points as to like what does it mean to be able to enjoy that does your environment allow for you to be able to enjoy your like, you know, your daily routine. Uh, and I, I do have ad blocker, but it's not like for some reason, uh, in order to watch this every single time I click it, it's sending me somewhere else. But that point aside, um, yeah. And I like, because of the different color changes and because of everything else, it makes me wonder, like, one, I clearly see like on, on here, it says it has a romance tag. But I wonder how dark this show can get, right? I wonder how, like, realistic we can get in that setting, or if this is going to be one of those things where uh, we get so attached to the characters that whenever something tragic happens to them, it hurts us. Uh, and in regards to that, and this is something interesting, having the, you know, I've talked about internal monologues in other shows, but I'll bring it up here as well. Having an internal monologue is totally okay. Voicing internal monologues out loud to bring it into, I guess, ground like a grounding technique, like reality in that form, 
it would be interesting, but it could get a lot of looks uh, in terms of is it normal, not normal. That depends on your setting. But I will say, like, if I was walking around and I heard someone talking to a bread about certain things, I'd look at them a little weird. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not sure if you guys would do the same thing. Um, but the color change, right? One of the big things, like, instantly was seeing the, like, perspective change in between him and her. And I wonder if this is going to be sort of an inflection of, like, either A, a pessimism, right? Like, if the guy's perspective is just completely pessimistic and, you know, she's sort of there too brighten it up or vice versa or if, how how this thing might spring up or how their attachment might continue just based off of that interaction now throwing it out there i haven't seen clan this is my first time watching it i'm doing it episode by episode on twitch just with all the other shows I haven't read the manga light novel whatever is out there uh these are just complete guesses just based off of the way that they're interacting with one another and the way that the show is being led um so yeah <laughs> A CD. Oh man, this takes me back. Guys, I have to ask, is this going to be one of those things where a bunch of girls are going to be introduced and then our male protagonist, oh, he has so many feels and he has to try and understand like how he feels about everyone and everything and, you know, whether or not he can make a harm or not. Um, or is this going to be like, sorry, it's just one of the like most typical like things that I have to throw out there. Or is it going to be one of those things where it's like, oh, there's actual romance and they build it up and then boom, tragic backstory happens. Boom, turns out that whatever you found out in the beginning isn't necessarily the same. Um, brought to you by all the attachments that are that, like, happened already. It's called a harem, Ed, and it's art. <laughs> no, I'm just throwing it out there just because, like, the way that this is, this has already been introduced is quite literally like a, like, I don't know how to put it. Like, I'm just throwing it, it's, right? So, I'm just throwing it out there because it just seems like a lot of the interactions that are being based off of, like, you know, I know that there was a big point of, there's a big point in the in the show in which, um, or at least in older shows, that it was quite literally like harem season for a lot of animes. It was isekai harem season where a majority of them was that, or drama harem season. So that's why I was just throwing it out there. But I will say this. If we're going off of this like power structure, power dynamics, the dorm mother should be at the top, right? So someone that's getting walked over, someone that's like, you know, kind of the cool pessimistic dude. You have all these like soccer rugby looking dudes. So let's just see where this goes, but I'm already I already have a couple of theories as to where this will go. Oh, rugby. Yeah, over there. What the fuck? What the fuck? Turns out she was talking about abortion. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm absolutely kidding, guys. Uh, no, I, I, yeah, this is what story, that's actually exactly what I was going for, Kratos. I'm like, either this is a weird supernatural anime thing like that we're about to hit or quite literally right we're, we're like witnessing sort of like the i don't know how to put it it's, i don't know how to put it other than like the interaction that one had yeah i'll just i gotta be honest the art style is a little weird it's a little outdated it's, it's <laughs> <laughs> Crave, no, instantly my mind went into a very, very dark place where I was like, where does this, like, just a random thought come from? And also, like, just like of an individual come from, 
also what attachment like how does one build an attachment from something like this or what is the purpose of framing this like my mind's instantly going through something like this imagine you're dreaming and you dream that this, some random little girl looking thing could be a demon i don't know what the fuck that is comes to you and says like i was not born in this world i choose not to be born in this world blah 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 i would be sus instantly i'd already be like nope i need to go get some like uh, i don't know like something to get like <laughs> purified i guess like I would be tripping out if this was like a dream sequence looking thing, you know? As to how it applies to this, I don't know. I'm clearly like kind of taken back because I didn't see a supernatural tag on this. So. Alright, yeah, what? Shut the fuck up! Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Bruh, any person comes up to me and it's like, you're coming in late, maybe you should come in time. It's like, maybe you should mind your own business. You don't know why I was late. I could have been in a car accident running late. I don't know, maybe the street is closed that I walked to get here. Sorry, this, and, and it's not necessarily I have to do with the whole function of like, Keeping like people on tabs because I know that there's like class representatives in every country, every society, every culture has a different appropriation to something like that. But my whole thing is, I just find it so interesting when you have like, I don't know, scenarios like this. Like, how would you guys react to something like this? I'll be honest, I'd be sarcastic in nature, um, especially if in high school, if someone tried to be like, "Why aren't you here on time? Why don't you go like you know do this?" Like, sort of like checking up on me. It's like. Are you my parents? No. Why does it matter to you? Like, you know, you're not going to get in trouble for me being late. And if you do get in trouble, that's sort of weird, but I... So... Aww. <laughs> Excuse me? She's she's reading she's literally reading the future using playing cards? Hold the fuck on. Let me get my playing cards over here and fucking throw them in the air and then be like, I'm gonna be late to the streaming next week. <laughs> so what that's all so when you get twenty one, what does that mean? Like if you get a blackjack, what does that mean about your future? It's such an interesting concept. But then this whole concept of a supernatural, uh, and I'm going to keep trying this into the supernatural just because of the first interaction. This is how, like, logically my brain works to try and make sense um, of things. It means you're loaded, Ed. I mean, if it pays three to one or five to one, then yeah, it means I'm loaded. <laughs> Great. We will not teach this, this main character about Super Seducer. We will keep him away from that game at all times. But what I, what I will say is, I wonder, because in the whole theory of like not just like reading for the future fortune telling astrology astronomy astrology not astronomy astronomy is actually a real science uh right did i get that right i hope i got that right uh anyway the whole thing about like with all of these things it's, it's not just pertaining to an individual set future so i wonder if there's multiple futures at play here i.e you know if this show like if i were writing this show and, and I'll throw this out there. And I already introduced supernatural elements onto this. <laughs> astronomy, a well-known astrology, right? What, whatever it is. Gastronomy, whatever. My, my whole thing is, like, if I was writing this show, something that I would try and introduce as a way to uh, keep people on their toes through a supernatural element is the concept of whether or not our choices have direct implications of to what's to come i.e uh alan today decided that he was going to go to the store and he met this beautiful girl or guy or whatever he's into he found a partner and they decided to try and have kids or they decided that they were going to go ahead and adopt a puppy and 
Turns out the puppy that they got was this big wolf dog. And Alan absolutely loves the puppy, but his partner just hates it. What well, would be an interesting choice if I were writing this show and I was trying to introduce the concept of like time, space, fortune, supernatural elements. Quite literally just rewriting that scene into where they, you know, partners arguing. Partner absolutely hates the dog. But now, Alan just doesn't get one puppy. He gets four puppies. Or one of them passes away. Or now you have, like, this whole drama involved in it in which you're able to relate what attachment means to this individual. And if time, space, and the decisions that we made, the small decisions along the way, actually impact who we are as an individual as a whole. I.e., would Alan get depressed if the puppy passed away? Or animal or whatever? Or, or would he... I don't know, like grow and keep continuing to grow as an individual. There's a thousand and one things that you can go ahead and introduce through the concept of just a supernatural element, which kind of renders a lot of like deep psychological points kind of mute because you can explain everything through supernatural in that lens. But I'm just throwing it out there just so that you guys have a sense as to how someone would try and, and like render this, you know? <laughs> Why do I like the more aggressive sister? <laughs> Master, you'd actually laugh because I'm a. <sighs> Aside from one individual, majority of the girls that I've dated have been pretty passive in that sense. Like, not really aggressive. Aggressive in nature is fun because you can you have a lot to retort and you can go ahead and have that, like, back and forth, like, uh, sarcasm, nature, whatever you need. But, like, it just depends. Everyone has different different types, different feelings, different partners that they're into. But, no, what I was about to say is, super like, introducing a supernatural tag can automatically, yeah, you can do so ex machina pretty much anything that happened in the show, but while well, including all of this, it's also important to go ahead and note that, like, I don't know how else to put it, like, it's just because there might be a supernatural tag in it doesn't mean that we're going to focus on that, we're going to focus more on, like, the attachments and power dynamics and all of that, you know? And yes, yeah, Senju Gohara would be more my type before she, yeah, and Ram, I guess, Rem, Emilia, you know, all the good ones. Oh, okay, fuck. あ、ごめんなさいです。会ったばかりの人にこんなこと。それであんな一人ごと言ってたのか。部活とかやってなかったのか。はい。本当は演劇部に入りたかったんですけど。私、体が弱いからちゃんと活動できそうにないし。できる範囲で参加すればいいんだ。放課後、演劇部に行ってみたらどうだ。でも、ま、見ろよ。こっちを見て。しょぼくれた顔してじゃ友達もできないぞ。
What are you talking about? Like, you've been gone away for a year and all the teachers left? Everyone you knew graduated? Even your underclassmen that I'm pretty sure you must have known at least one? Like, in, in that regard, you know? Or someone your year? Like, what? You know? Like, I'm sorry. Like, I would have gotten like a thousand and one red flags almost immediately. Yeah. So... Do all of you guys just play it off, or is it, like, something that you guys, like, take for real? Because I would love to keep questioning that. Like, for example, why were you sick? What does it mean to, you know, do certain things? Why are you apologizing? Why is your voice, you know, why do you seem so, like, I don't know how to put it. Like, I know there are people. No, 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 no. Like, I wouldn't... <laughs> Yeah, like, I'd ask more questions, but at the same time, I just wonder why every single thing that she was doing when she was eating and, like, drinking was so purposely meticulous, if that makes sense. Like, bro, I'm not over here, like, so I don't really have a lot of friends, and I had a lot of teachers and friends last year, but, like, I was gone for, like, a year, and then, like, when... Like, I came back like there was no one else here. Don't tell me. Do, do not tell me that you guys would not fucking have an issue with some shit like that. You guys would not raise an alarm and be like, what, what is up? Because I know for a fact. I know for a fact the majority of you guys would be like, so what happened? Or you guys would be like asking questions to try and like... <laughs> I'm doing her. Give me a second. <laughs> Master, don't take that out of context. Ugh. But that's but that's the thing is like, uh, I, like immediately, I'm just sus. Uh, like the frame of tonality, the frame of like just talking, the inconsistencies of what a story could be. And even if you're brand new to a fucking school, you know for a fact that everyone has at least one person that they can talk to and they can relate to, uh, whether it's up middle or like same grade or lower than you. So... Like, I will straight up, like, you know, I will say that, like, my number one sus meter right now is on Fortune Girl and on this main girl that's been, like, there, you know? Ah. So threatening on mopeds. Ooh. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> used to hold their enemies. This is I was almost thrown off for a second there. Okay, so what I was gonna bring up is uh, dollar store. Let's say that like this individual for some reason was able to like slip through space and time and actually like. Go from another universe into this universe, the other universe where she had all of her friends, this universe where she doesn't, uh, so on and so forth. That would be the most terrifying fucking encounter of your life, and I'll tell you why. No, I can't, sadly. Because if I press spacebar, it automatically takes me to the other page. Like, it is so weird. But, I'll, I'll tell you why. So say that Alan meets Alanita, which is Alan's version of a girl home him that would you technically call it isekai or just jumping into another like because isekai is being sent to another world right or another universe does it count if it's the same universe just a separate universe in in that case you know so if someone was yeah best girl Alanita portal fantasy I guess right so if someone else was like you know from a parallel world and like came to this one what are the consequences of that like of that action you can say oh well that happens all the time that's why like the Mandela thing of, uh, exists or whatever which I'm not gonna get into in any way shape or form or backrooms or any of that like y'all watch whatever paranormal shit y'all want but let's go ahead and talk about like the implications of that well there if someone's able to jump from one section to another, and if there's some weird knowledge, like futuristic knowledge or knowledge of uh, whatever, let's say Alan, like Alan is really getting along with Alanita. And turns out Alanita is his daughter from another world. How would you guys react to that? I know I would freak the fuck out. I know I would be like, what are you talking about? Uh... Uh, what? That doesn't make sense in that regard. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be pissed. I'd be pissed. 
in that regard, you know? Because now here comes the thing. In every world that there's a positive, there's also a negative in that regard. If you're going to take like a coin and flip it, right? Uh, and let's say scenario A is dollar store, get season three of ReZero before anyone else, right? Poof. Dollar store, get season three of ReZero. And now off of that, boom, you flip that. You flip another coin. But he doesn't get the final ending. Sorry, dude. You got, you got tails. Oh, on the other side, it says that you do get the ending episode. So now you've just split the timeline in two. All right. So now off of those two timelines, boom, one of them has a extra credit scene or an end credit scene. Boom, the other one doesn't. And then on the other one, it actually leads into, I don't know, season four, episode one or some shit like that. And then the other one, it clearly doesn't. So you're spreading out the timelines like a weird, like, fork shaped pattern, which can ultimately induce what, like... I don't know how else to put it. Like, if you're smart enough, it can induce a lot of trauma and a lot of breakdown in the sense that, like, you're probably overthinking what these decisions mean to you. So, A, let's say that you end up, I don't know, finding out that someone is from the future and they're, they're back here. Is it a looped future? Like, i.e., does everything loop? And if it loops, that means that you're going to go through it and you already know the actions and everything that's to come. If it doesn't, it means that something different is coming that you're not expecting uh, in either a bad way or a good way. And how does it impact you that your future self just came back to tell you something like that? Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry for going, like, out there. What a random moment to drop this backstory in. What? <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't cry yet. I have a bad feeling, like, just overall, as to how this anime is gonna go. I, I have a really bad feeling about this. No, I'm not crying, guys. I have something in my eyes, I swear. <laughs> Oh, dude. Dude. <laughs> bro, bro, I, I'm gonna be evil. I, I'm, I'm gonna be straight up with you. If that's her sister, mother, whatever, uh, she can get it, bro. I, I'm sorry, but like, first off, first off, let me throw this out there, right? If, if that is her sister, mother, or whatever, I don't care, dude. Ed, yeah, hey, hey, you know what? Super Seducer has taught us two things. Number one, take away their independence. It sounds absolutely horrible. Please don't do that. Number two, don't go that route. <laughs> I know, probably not. Just probably end up killing me or something. I don't know, dude. Uh, so that's all right. But no, what I was going to hit on is quite literally is I wonder where this is going to go. Does she even exist? Or are we just talking to a fucking ghost this immediate time that only a select few individuals can actually see? You know? <laughs> I'm bored with this. <laughs> but yeah, like, uh, legitimately, I'm just... Uh, for me, it's a new experience. Like, with the older anime specifically, I don't know how to put it, like... The shots, the timing, the way that, like, even punchlines are delivered is way different than the way that they are now. I'm not sure if any of you guys can actually, uh, can take that, like, can agree with me on that? Like, watching this anime and then compared to, like, um, 
Monogatari, ReZero, AOT, all, all of the ones that we've been watching, and like the punchline delivery animation style, how they focus, even transition scenes. It's like it was a lot slower back then in that, that regard, you know? I'll just be. <laughs> Dang. Isn't it like the first day of school? Holy shit. I really have. Oh my fucking god. As cute as this is, don't get me wrong, this is like a cute family interaction scene and whatnot, right? I have a really fucking bad feeling in the back of my brain that I can't possibly, like, tell you guys my brain is connecting a lot of weird fucking little dots like all over the space and i have a really bad feeling that this is going to end up really sad sadder than i think like everything that is showing right now i don't know why i can't logically explain this other than the fact that like somewhere in the back of my brain it's it's saying that this is gonna get dark yeah that's probably the best way i can put it or at least my brain is hoping that it gets dark i don't know and this might just be because, because we watched a lot of fucked up anime recently. Uh, but, uh, like, yeah. Yeah, that's, I don't know. I, yeah, yeah. I, I'm sorry, guys. I wish I could explain it clearer. Uh, and I know this is a psychologist saying I can't really explain something. Other than the fact that, like, this feels off in a, a way. And it, yeah, and I might be, I can probably blame it a little bit as to like the other anime that we watched. I can probably also blame it on like just their interactions and the way that this girl kind of is. Or maybe it's the fact of what's to come. Maybe if it does blossom into a relationship, you know, is it going to be healthy enough or is it going to be a lot of like, you know, hard times? I don't know. I don't know. So, <laughs> A flow of time. What a weird. Dude, this would never happen in modern day animes, I feel like. Just. Oh no. Oh no, no. I wonder if he hates his parents or... The dad is... My dude. My dude. See, I knew that we were going to get a dark background story. I feel like this is... It's not certain what... <laughs> the mom is dead. Great. <laughs> but what I was going to point out is, like... If you have encountered this... Say that, like, logically we can tell just by the disposition in the beginning that, like, they're... You know, that, like, he probably had a pessimistic because of environmental attachments, whatever. A lot of shit happens. But he's probably encountered his dad going through this alcohol alcoholism problem for quite some time now. It's coming home. Like. It, it feels weird. Thank you, Olgis. It feels weird because if you face something a lot. Say that I kept coming home to my dad being fucking drunk off his ass. Uh, laying on the sofa. Not really responding with the beer in his head. After a while, the appropriate response, the more normal, natural response, is to go numb to it. You'll, you'll still have that pessimistic nature where you're like, ugh, whatever, right? But because if you encounter something a lot of the times, you'll quite literally like become more numb as a situation grows. But <laughs> this is why it feels weird. Because the majority of us, logically speaking, at least nowadays, we can automatically jump into the conclusion, and probably because you guys have seen a lot of dark animes, dark shows, and experienced some dark stuff yourself, that you're not just going to go out running into the middle of the night uh, talking about your backstory, right? Like, it feels a little little weird in that regard. But it's still a lot for a kid to deal with. I'm not taking any of that, of that away. I'm still empathizing in that regard. <laughs> Gambling, wait, 
they only have pachinko in Japan, right? Excuse me? What the fuck? Oh, this anime is like trying to make me connect too many things at once. In like a rough way. So there is some weird supernatural or like trauma induced memory shit that we're saying. And there's probably going to be a lot more sadness actually coming to this. But with that being said. Oh, well, I'm going to. Yeah, it's a good thing I stopped there. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to get a nosebleed over this anime. What I will say is this. It's interesting to take a look back in time to the animation style, the transitions, how characters were developed back then, and sort of uh, challenge the way that they were done back then compared to nowadays. And you can really see a big transition in how character development is done, specifically. I.e., if ReZero... Or Attack on Titan was done in this way, I feel like a lot of people would still not be, I don't know how to put it, like nowadays, a lot of people would find it hard to connect with certain characters, right? I feel like this is done with a certain stylistic purpose, uh, and specifically for that time, that it's more than likely going to lead to a really, really sad ending that I'm not prepared for. I don't want to cry. Not sure if you guys want to cry or if that's the reason why you're checking out this channel. Or maybe it's a good ending and maybe I'm just like overanalyzing because almost every single anime that's been recommended has been a kind of sad one. But yeah, I really appreciate all of you guys being here. Please, 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 please practice some self-care for those of you on YouTube. And join our Discord. Join us on Twitch. This is where we do it every Friday. Uh, hopefully Sundays too if I have time. And throughout the week, uh, we watch a couple animes together. But anyway... That's going to go ahead and be it for Clamad. Up next is... Yeah, thank you, YouTube. Take care. Practice that self-care. Actually, for those of you still on here on Twitch, it's stretching time. Let's get ready to stretch, 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 stretch.